was Christmas time, and as usual, snow blanketed the landscape all along the Marysville Railroad. Some, however, suffered more as a result. What is making Comrade Dean stop in tracks? Oh, Georgie. Yeah, I'm kind of stuck here. Da. So, think you could give me a push? Da. Now get moving. Whoa there! What's the big rush there, Senor Stalin? Result Christmas trees. Important cargo. Need to get to people in hills. Everyone needs Christmas. Well, take it easy. I'd rather not come off the rails in weather like this. Cannot be sure if comrades wish will come through. All right, Georgie. I think I can take it from here. Thanks. Da. Now I go see Crosby family. Ah, hello, Georgie. How are you? I am alive and well. How are you, comrade? Just trying to live for tomorrow, I suppose. How do you mean? Well, the salt mining job ain't doing me any good. With the rivers frozen over for the winter, we ain't had much of the mood lately, so there's no hope for overtime. With the wife and myself paying bills and using our few earnings for food, we've been short of money lately. Couldn't get a Christmas tree this year, and I don't see us getting the kids much, if anything, for the holiday either. Is there something Georgie can do to help? You being a train? I'm not sure there's much you can do to help me. Thanks for the offer, though. I will find a way to help, comrade. I will not let you go without Christmas. Kids will have visit from dead Mozzarella Santa. I guess. Go ahead. Not sure what you have in mind, but go for it. should I take the plow train? You're smaller, you take curves better than I can, you can run backwards easier and safer, and I'm not a fan of the white stuff anyway. But I'll get stuck! And plus, I don't want to go out in the cold. Stop chatting, I need information. Whoa, cool it there, Georgie! Well, I mean you can't get any colder than this weather, but what's up? Do any of you know of train with toys? Uh, what for? Crosby Family in Hills is in need. Oh, well, let me think. Um, oh, I know! The TOFC trailer trains might have some in them. What is TOFC? Trailer on flat car! Trailers from roadway trucks are put onto flat cars and moved on high priority trains. From there, they're unloaded at a TOFC center and then a truck takes the trailers away. Does Comrade know when train will come through? Haven't got a clue. Do you know, Theodore? No. Nope. One of the standard gauge engines has to know, though. They're the only ones who take them. Good, I shall wait for one. Oh! Hey there, Georgie. What are you doing at the platform? Not important. I need to know about TOFC train with toys, and when it come. Well, I, um, uh, I don't know when the next one is expected. I can ask to tell where at Windsor Yard, since I'm on my way there, they should know. Good. Make it quick. Need to help family in need. Hey, uh, Yard Master, do you know when the next TOFC train is expected? Oh, James, let me check. The schedules are in my office. 
I'm not liking these clouds. Looks like snow is on its way. Well, a snowstorm out in Minneapolis has delayed the daily trailer train. Won't be here until tomorrow morning by the Wisconsin Central. Do you know if any, uh, toys will be on it? Asking for one of the narrow gauge engines. Well, let me check these orders. Hmm. Well, your best bet should be a trailer heading for Walmart Distribution Center with five others. I should have more information once the train arrives. So is that all you need to know? Yeah! Thanks, Yardmaster. Now, I just need someone to go tell George. Hey, Avery. Hey there, James. Is there something you need? Yeah. Could you do me a favor and run out to Fort Chippewa and tell Georgie the next trailer train is expected to arrive tomorrow morning? Also, tell him the train is likely to have toys on it. Georgie is the 2662 team mouth, if you don't know. I can't leave my holiday excursion train hanging at the station, so that's why I ask. Uh, sure. Yeah, I can do that. Thanks, Avery. Hey, are you Georgie? Da, who are you? I'm Avery. I have a message from James for you. Avery, his good name. What is message from Comrade James? He said the next trailer train is expected tomorrow morning, and it'll probably have toys in one of the trailers. Not sure what he has in mind, but that's what he told me to tell you. It's not what he had in mind. It's what I had in mind. Have to help Crosby family so they can have Christmas. What's up with them? Mr. Crosby's family cannot afford present or tree. I'm looking for a way to help. Aw, oh, that's nice of you. Never heard of a locomotive helping someone get a Christmas tree and gifts. You are now part of the helping effort, Avery. I thank you for help. You're welcome, Georgie. Happy to help. Tell Comrade James I need Tories fast. Fast as in, as soon as train reaches Standing Gate Yard, it leaves to come here. All right, I'll tell him. Many thanks. I shall ready a special Christmas train. After James had been told of Georgie's request, he was back at Windsor Yard following his excursion awaiting the trailer train. Excuse me, your master? Yes, James? As soon as that trailer train gets here, I need whatever trailer has toys in it, and a flat car, so I can speed it to the dual gauge. Call it a special, if you will. I can't guarantee anything, but I'll do my best. I'm going to stay here for the night, so I can keep a lookout for that train. I wouldn't want to let a family in need down on Christmas. James's crew waited with their engine in the case the trailer train arrived early, but eventually dampened down his fire and went off to find a hotel for the night. Oh, oh, I really don't want to sleep in. What if the train comes in early? If I'm not ready, the Crosby won't have a Christmas at all. No tree, no presents, and... Oh, no, Santa. <sighs> oh. ah. Morning, driver and fireman. Wait a minute. I have to collect that trailer. Where's the... Where's the...
this a trio train? It's... Sorry, Lift. Came in about 7.12 this morning. The crew had the hardest time getting a fire built up, and apparently couldn't get the steam pressure to build up. I tried explaining to the crew of the trailer train that we needed one of the trailers, but they didn't buy my explanation. Well, I'm grabbing a caboose, and I'll find that trailer or bus. I don't think the Wisconsin Central will like us stealing their freight, but it's for a good cause in my eyes. I'll give you high priority over anything on the line. We'll give that family a Christmas no matter what it takes. Luckily, I was able to get detailed freight info in the trailer train. I found out that Santa Fe Trailer SFTZ number 252854 on trailer number 152858 has the toy shipment. That and two other flat cars should be set off at the distribution center in Pine Grove. Thanks, Yardmaster! What am I being held up for? I'm an express mail train after all. Sorry, David! I'm on an important toy rescue mission! I'll explain later! Toy rescue mission? Trailer. Trailer. Trailer! There it is! Stop! Wait! I need that Santa Fe trailer! Whoa well, there! What's the big deal, steam engine? It's a... Uh... Special delivery! I need it right away. I can't delay the train that it needs. Are you sure? We're expecting about a delivery of about six trailers today. You got some orders to prove it? Well, I, uh, the way bill, I, I need it for- Alright, talk to me. I can't stand around in the cold all day. Why are you in such a hurry? Oh, what's so special about the Santa Fe trailer? Well, from what I heard, there's a load of toys in it. That's true. So what? I can't just let you wander in and steal it and run off to God knows where. It's for a good cause. Oh, really? Tell me! Out in the hill of Cedarville, there's a narrow-gauge engine who knows a family called the Crosbys. They don't have much money, with the father's mining job not paying well, and the mother staying at home to care for the family. Plus, the family has plenty of bills to pay. Alright, I hear stories about this all the time. What's so special about them? The thing is, they can't pay for Christmas presents for their two kids. And they don't even have a Christmas tree. Ain't the Salvation Army done anything about it? I don't know! Please, just hear me out. We engines have been trying to figure out a way to just let them have a proper Christmas. And, well... This is the best we could come up with. How would you feel going a year without Christmas? No decorative evergreen. No visit from Santa Claus. And no real way to celebrate the holiday. They, they can't even afford a ticket out of the hills to visit family with the dirt roads being impassable. I see. Well, I suppose this may be my good deed for the year. I'm not sure how this will go down with management, but I'll let you take the trailer toys. It'll be wrong for me not to. I don't want to unload them here, though. But these I get caught here. If you would please leave a decent amount of boxes left and bring in the trailer back here with the extras. Really? Oh, thank you so much, sir. I hope you know you just saved Christmas for a family. 
Yeah, no problem. Hey, Scott, leave us in the fake trailer on the white car. Mix up in the orders. We're supposed to take him off to Windsor. This engine's gonna take him back there. Thanks. Don't sweat it. Get turned around and you'll be out of here. I'll deal with the rest. <laughs> Thank you, comrade. Get trailer unloaded quickly. No. I'm not liking all this snow. It's sure to accumulate fast in the highlands. Our god-awful visibility isn't helping our situation either. Will not let snow spot me. I will be fine. Careful, Georgie. Keep your wheels moving steadily. I am trying, driver. Oh, come on, Christmas to save. Ah! Can't keep going on like this, it's too risky. I doubt the trestles will hold up in this storm. No, cannot let Crosby family go without Christmas. Georgie... Georgie cannot make hill climb. How thrilling. How absolutely thrilling. So now what? The salt mine ought to have a phone to call the yard office. I'll see if we can get the plow up here in another engine. Johnny, you stay here and keep Georgie on solid ground. Yeah, I will. Hey, be, be careful while you're out there, though. Hello? Hey, Richard. Yeah. What's up, Mike? Wait. What in God's name are you doing out in this weather? Making sure the Crosby family has a Christmas. I need an engine and a plow up here as soon as you can. We're stranded out in the middle of a snowdrift by the salt mine. Dean's in steam, but there ain't no way I'm going out in this weather on a rescue mission. If you want someone, call the National Guard. Come on, Richard. I need your help. We have to get these toys and grab a tree from the farm to the Crosby home before midnight, or they won't have a Christmas. Think of the kids. No presents, no Santa Claus, no celebratory tree, no Christmas. They're a family in need. Think, Richard. Think. All right, fine. Don't say I haven't done anything for you later on, though. Come on, Dean. Georgie's stored near the salt mine, and they need our help. Oh, oh, oh fine. Let's make this quick, though. So, where was Georgie even trying to go in the first place? Trying to get to the Crosby household by midnight, I guess. Some presents and a tree to deliver. Alright, Georgie. We're here. 
What took Comrade over an hour to get here? We took our time getting here, especially with this horrid visibility. Georgie does not care. Get pushing, Comrade. But you asked me, so I... Forget it. Pushing initiated. Georgie, how heavy are you? Does not matter. Keep pushing, comrade. Three to five. Christmas to save. Whoa there. And we're stuck. Both crews, get shovels out and work. Both Georgie and Dean's crew shoveled at the snow and struggled to get their engines moving up grade. As they made the climb, however, they would stall periodically and start shoveling once again. I don't know if I can keep... keep on like... Mike? Oh god! Mike! Oh, for God's sakes, Richard, call 911! The salt mine is at the bottom of the grade. There ain't no way I'm getting frostbite walking down there. Any ideas, Colin? Maybe my coffee will wake him up. Ah, what? What? What, what in the... Why, what, why is it so cold? Where am I? Chippewa Bridge. Now let's get you to Georgie's firebox. Let us go now. We have little time to waste. There is Crosby home. Three farmers up ahead. There can't be anyone here at this time. We'll just have to steal one. Do not care. Grab tree and go. Put up this in cap. I've got the tree. Luckily there was a pre-cut one I could just take from its pole. It's only 11.49, so we still have some time left. Good. Now move. Go get Mr. Crosby and tell him we have a surprise. Already on it. Richard, what are you- We brought you something. Huh? We got you a tree and some toys for the kids. Courtesy of Chris Kringle, of course. Oh. Oh my god. I- I, I can't believe my own eyes. You guys are an absolute savior. Thank you so much. <laughs> I, I, I just don't know what else to say. You're all right, Mr. Crosby. Now let's get some Christmas in your home. Thank you, everyone. I, I, I really don't know how to repay you. There's no need to. It's just our Christmas gift to you. I'm sure the kids will love all the stuff in the boxes. <laughs> Especially those Tom's the Tank engine hurdle trains. <laughs> Oh, I'm sure they will. Midnight. Guess we were just in time. <laughs> I guess so. You better be on your way now. I wouldn't want to spoil your Christmas. Thank you, Mr. Crosby. Well, I guess we should all say... Merry, Merry Christmas, Christmas, Mr. Crosby! Mr. Crosby. <laughs> Merry Christmas, everyone! <laughs>